Hey guys, Andrew Muller with Mappus Insurance. I'm here with Brett Cunningham with Holy City Wood. And I am excited to be talking about uh, Brett's business here um, because of some really cool stuff. And so before we do that, uh, we're gonna get to know Brett a little bit. So uh, Brett, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So, ab absolutely. Virtually, um, I guess, right? What's that? <laughs> Thanks for having me virtually, right? Oh yeah, I know, for real. It's just, it becomes it's the norm now that it just seems like we're, we're it seems like we are face to face. So, That's right. Um, so before we, we start uh, talking about Holy City Wood, uh, got a few questions. Uh, Android sure. or iPhone? Uh, iPhone presently, yeah. uh, because my employer pays for it. So well, that's a good reason to have it. Um, very good reason. Okay. Uh, do you love to win or do you hate to lose? Uh, you know, honestly, I, I went back and forth on, on this question. Um, I'm, I'm more of probably, I hate to lose. Okay. Very good. There's, there's no right or wrong. Um, I right. hate to lose too, but I really love to win. Yeah, I almost felt like I was like, is this like off the of Myers Briggs? Like, is he trying to? <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay, and so, so as we start talking about Holy City Woods, like, tell me, like, like, what is your why as it relates to Holy City Woods? Sure. Um, why? Uh, really, it's our way to donate back to the community. Um, I love being physically challenged and mentally challenged. I've figured out, um, and I'm, I'm not sure how far you're gonna get in the questions, but we talked about it uh, just a minute ago. I'm a chef, and so, um, you know, being in culinary arts, it's physically and mentally challenging. And I've figured out through the years, that's kind of what makes me tick. So woodworking, same thing, you know, taking a raw product, turn it into a finished product, um, but, really we believe that everybody's blessed with gifts and talents right uh and that it's our responsibility to take those gifts and talents and to give back so my wife and i created this company we're both full time full time employees at different companies um but we decide to start this part time company um to give back and and we start it with 20% of our sales and once again that so it just sounds crazy. Most people are like, oh, 2% of our, our gross or whatever. Uh, we, we sell, you know, hundreds of dollars, you know, $400 boards, $100 right off the top goes to donate. Primarily, we donate to the Low Country Food Bank. Um, as I told you before, for every dollar, um, it's six meals. And so I, we just sent a check to them two days ago for... Uh, 1200 and some dollars uh we just we just had an order uh big order 30 boards with inlays for rec tech grills i guess that's a little plug uh we just started working with it my phone was ringing in my that's all right no got problem. so um yeah we we just cut a check for uh 1300 anyway it was four thousand i'm sorry 7,425 meals were provided off that order. Wow, that is amazing. So I just want to make sure people understand that if you buy a board that we're getting ready to show, which they're very, very cool, it's $400. They're taking 25% of that, $100 off the top, mm -hmm. and donating that to Low Country Food Bank. That Correct. Is awesome. Mm -hmm. that's, that is make, that's, that's amazing what you're doing there. So um, let me go ahead and start sharing so people can see where they're like, what are you talking about boards? And so let's yeah, as a chef, you know, it's, it's, I make cutting boards, you know, it's still kind of in that theme of feeding people. And um, so, yeah, originally we started off 20% and then um, it's now, like I said, it's grown to 25% of our sales. Um, we do have our Clemson crafters license. Yeah. Um, we did have our Virginia tech crafters license this year. Oh. We don't, so these aren't bootleg products. We are licensed. Of course, it's the small license. Um, and yeah, yeah. we also, this year we received, well, I, I mean, you have to apply and then, you know, pay a fee, um, USC. So Gamecock fans were like, Hey, what's going on? Why don't, you know, why don't you make any boards with inlays for our stuff? Um, so we just did receive that license as well. well. That these are so cool. So like, there's one that I saw that I'm just, I was like, how did he do that? This one right here. 
So let's let's talk about this guy. Yeah. So that uh, that took quite a bit of time. That's it's it's <laughs> it's a 3D butterfly board. Wow. Um, you know, there's I, once again there's the challenge, the the mental and physical challenge. Um, that's like. I forgot to, the, how many strips of wood. It's 700 and some strips of wood. But see, the the thing is with these boards, like this is an ingrain cutting board. So this board's a lifetime board. As long as you maintain it by keeping it conditioned, yeah. we get our um, we get our conditioner. We get local beeswax out of Latson um, from a so, guy named Woody Woody Weatherford. And then my wife melts it down with mineral oil. And as long as you keep boards conditioned, um, not only will they be sanitary, they won't absorb things into the wood. You know, it's like a protective layer, um, but it also helps keep the board conditioned. And um, the ingrain boards are uh, self-healing. So the easiest way I can explain that is if you laid a paintbrush down on your desk, the bristles are running horizontally that's long grain, all right? If you take that paintbrush and lift it vertically, that's in grain. So you would actually be cutting into those, those uh, grains, those fibers. Okay. And if you keep them conditioned, they'll actually close back up and self heal. So you can see these boards that you're over now, they're all in grain. They're basically butcher blocks for your countertop. Wow. There's so nothing, cool. there, there's nothing wrong with long grain boards. I think you'll probably see some of them on here. Um, they're fine, but you know, after you see cutting boards, see how the grains are running vertically up and yeah. down? That's yeah. in grain. In grain boards come from long grains. You, you cross cut them and then flip them 90 degrees. And that gives you the, the in grain. Um, like I said, there's nothing wrong with long grain boards. But if you've ever seen a cutting board that starts to get a little fuzzy because it's been cut on a lot, it's uh -huh. because you're actually breaking those fibers down um, where the ingrain boards aren't going to break down like that. Very cool. And th these are just, I mean, th this is like artwork. I mean, it's not just, oh, thank you. You, know, like, you know, boards you're cutting on. I mean, it's like art. This is so cool. Um, Thanks. Absolutely amazing. And the fact that you guys give so much back to the community is even cooler. Um, so, so you can see that that Clemson board right there, you can see that's actually long grain. The grains yeah, are running yeah. horizontally. So. Very cool. I'm sure there'll be some Clemson fans watching this video. So if somebody wants to order one, they just, I mean, they just order it straight from the website, right? Yeah, they can. Or, um, you know, holycitywoods at gmail.com. My, okay. uh, my better half, Jennifer, uh, I'm, I'm kind of the shop clown. She just tells me what to go make. Um, yep. she, she deals with the, uh, she deals with the order. She puts that stuff together. Okay. Uh, we have a, we have a pricing tool sheet. Um, you know, if you want yeah, boards right. that are inlaid, there's my better half right there. Yeah. If, um, if you want your boards inlaid custom, um, you know, we have a CNC machine where uh, we work with a lot of real estate agents and different companies. Like I said, we just did 30 boards for our largest order, actually, Rec Tech Academy. Um, and, uh, you know, we inlaid their logo into to pretty monster boards. Um, so, yeah, she kind of walks through that whole process. Uh, if there's things you want customized, dates, names, that, that type of stuff. So we probably have uh, more up-to-date stuff on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, um, very good. You probably know this. Uh, websites just, I, I think you got to have one now if you're a business, you're a small business in general. Um, but Instagram and Facebook is where we try and keep up with stuff, update things uh, more often, post builds. Yeah. Um, you know, you can see the process of, of how things are built. And so I know you were kind of curious about that. Ones that you've done. Yes, sir. That's correct. Uh huh. Oh, you know what? I'm not sharing that. I'm only not right now, but you can go to his Instagram. It's Holy City Woods. Go to Instagram, follow him, and um, go to the website, holycitywoods.com. You can order from there. You can email him if you want something done custom. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. As I said, I will be ordering a for today. There's so many that I got to figure out which one that I want because it is a lifetime. This is a lifetime commitment. So yeah, as long, like I board. said, as, as long as you 
keep it conditioned. And you, you're going to need to do that with long grain or in grain. Um, yeah. Like I said, it's just like wood in your house. You know, as the seasons change, things dry. It, it, it swells, it, you know, shrinks, you know, it, so same thing with boards, as long as you keep them conditioned with that beeswax mineral oil combination, mm -hmm. um, your wood won't be, won't move as much. It won't crack yeah. on you. It won't absorb things, you know, so it's kind of an all around just a preventative maintenance type of thing. So very cool. So these are also great gift ideas for weddings, anniversaries, Christmas, birthdays, you name it. So like, if you're like, what, I want to get something unique for somebody that's different. This is locally made and giving back locally back to the community. So, and you're getting a really cool product out of it. So you're getting like three amazing things done there. So uh, Brett, uh, really appreciate you telling us about Holy City Woods and we wish you all the best. Thank you so much Thanks. for having us. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely.